Rose Parma. Um, it is my second one. I've already taken a cutting from my original larger plant that I have showed you this plant in a few of my past videos, but yeah, I keep saying but yeah. Today we are going to be um, cutting pretty much from here off, so probably about six to seven leaves, and I'm going to be putting them in water, and then we're going to be starting a whole new fuller plant, which is one of my favorite things to do. I do like um, the look of just like one single strand of these going up, or one vine. However, I'd like to see like some fullness to this plant as well. Um, there still is some bug poop on here, so that's great. <laughs> Also, I have been taking and reading in all of your guys' comments and taking them into consideration, and I'm looking at the Liquid Dirt for fertilizer currently right now. I think I'm going to order that. As well as neem oil is still like hard to come by in Canada. I am looking online, but I haven't found anything yet. I could look harder probably, but so far I haven't found anything. Um, other than that, I've tried like a lot of different um, pesticides, stuff like that hate the smell of them, don't really like to use chemicals, so like neem oil would be the way I would like to go. But yeah, if anybody knows where to get it in Canada, please um, comment below. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started on my Raffidorphora Tetris Perma. Let's get it cut up. If See you me know right here, um, as I was saying in a few videos before, um, you want to make sure you have a node for each leaf so it can grow a new... Um, Point and start a new vine off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sweet. So I'm going to have eight um, cuttings that I'm going to take and then I'm going to be sticking them in water and leaving them for a few weeks and of course showing you guys what it looks like in the meantime. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys can see this okay. I'm going to check just to make sure. I don't know why, but I'm kind of scared to do this. Again, I don't know why, but I'm scared to do this because I do have the other one that's larger and that one's more my baby, per se. Oh, I just found an aphid. Sorry, I get super distracted when I see bugs on my plants and I just ripped a leaf, but that one's already pretty much ruined anyway, so there's that. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's just do it and then not think about it later. Here we go. I mean, once I cut this one, it's pretty much... So clean scissors, shears, whatever you got lying around, just make sure they're clean. Um, and I like to cut a little bit at an angle as well, so not like a straight across. Cut a little bit at an angle. Ah! Okay, that's one. Here we are. We have one. Well, actually, no. We have the first cut. Okay, that's that. Just kidding. We're going to cut that up a little bit more. Um... Well, does not just look sad now. Sorry, I have to fix it. Yeah. yeah, I have to fix it. Okay, let's do this one maybe a little bit closer so you guys can see it. Um, you can see here there's no um, fenestrations in the leaf, so I am thinking that it needs more light anyways, so it was over there, so I actually moved that shelf um, over closer to my south southeast facing window. So you guys can see it behind me there. Um, yeah, so I moved that shelf closer, all the plants on there. I also have a golden pothos here that I'm going to try and um, trellis up. I need to make a pool for it. And yeah. Okay, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Moving on back to this plant here. I'm just picking all the leaves off because I find it's easier. Or not the leaves. This stuff. Gosh, I can't even remember what it's called. I looked it up before, but... I like to pick it off because then it has a less chance of the bugs hiding in there if I do get any more bugs. Again, I shouldn't if I just take your guys' recommendation and go and buy that neem oil. <laughs> okay, moving on. Here we go. Ready? So again, you're going to want to cut it right at the node on every single one. I hope it is focusing and you guys can see it there. They are just gonna drop like petunias, or drop like flies, drop like flies, drop like petunias. My cat's playing with the curtain there. Sorry, that's super distracting. Here they go. One, two, ooh, it's a little, three, four, five, here comes Lola, six, and seven. 
there they all are. And Lola is here, of course. So, yeah, I'm just going to stick those in some water. I'm going to make sure each node is submerged. Actually, before I stick those in water, well, you guys get the point. You stick it in water, each node is submerged, and then I'm going to stick it on the shelf. Um, I was going to just let them um, char, not char. Can't think of the word. Again, I can never think of the words. Ooh, that's pretty cute. But yeah, I'm going to let them... Um, I'm going to put them up on the shelf. God, I can't spit up my words today. It's like word vomit for sure. It looks so cute. I love, I love, love, love. Okay, now where to put it is the question. <laughs> uh, we're just going to sneak in right here. And that will be that. Cute. All right, guys. Thanks for watching again. Um, I don't know if that was a short video or not. I was going to say this is a short video, but I'm not sure because I'm not editing it right away. But we will see. I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. It was a short splur of the moment idea to cut up that plant. I just decided to. And yeah, I'm super excited because, again, we have seven leaves here. I forgot how many I said. And I can't count quickly, but yeah, this is going to make a sick plant. I'm so excited for it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great week. Um, yeah, hit that subscribe button, turn on those push notifications, and give me a thumbs up. Bye, guys.